Hello my friends, welcome back to Mr. Crazy School here is channel. Yeah, so I think you had already watched those videos. So if you if you had skipped uh, or if you missed that, so check that how to make a Google account for 2025. And we had talked about uh, Google account inside uh, some of those tabs. I mean these features, uh, the personal information, data privacy. So however, in this video, I'm going to show about security feature. Yeah. Uh, in this video I will go to about uh, talk about the security feature so the most important thing is security on your account so if you first uh, I like to remember you you can change password on there also we had already uh, changed password on here but just I'm talk about only security tab so first you can see protect your account their recommendation so if you click that you can see that uh, some their suggestion here just you need to add recovery email your recovery email is the way of the regain uh, access to your account you if you ever locked out this is also a way to we can reach so if you notice suspicious activity in your account so however just you have your However, just you need your any other email services or any other Google account Gmail address. So however, just remember you you add only your one. Okay, so if you don't have one just okay skip the recovery email option, but important thing just you must add your phone number here. So because of uh, this is not too much important if you had already add the email uh, than the phone number so they will suggest something here just you can click add uh, and add there but just I continue to Google account and I will show you at the security tab where uh, that option is on so you can see the recent activities uh, on here for example if new device login you can see that uh, in there uh, like uh, I think five activities you can see here so you can but review security settings go you can change everything as a list okay so you can check uh, for example uh, when uh, the your last password change for example uh, I will show you if I change password right now you can uh, change password in here so already uh, 7.33 p.m. so right now 7.43 a.m. Uh, 43 p.m. so I'm going to password and just a uh, new password I will just uh, use a random uh, password generator so I had already show about you how to make a strong password so if you miss that video please go to this card and check about that yeah just uh, I had uh, made uh, you know make a the make a good strong password we have simple simple letters capital letters and numbers also symbols yeah just uh, I will change the password you can see password is strong and they will suggest at least use eight characters so I change password you can see the time is 4 7 44 p.m. just you can see the new password changes on that time and the device is Windows also if you click that you can see uh, we change on this device so uh, if password change on another device you can see that on the location and uh, which country everything you can see that here so however just recent activity is the most important thing you will get a notification after pa for password change recovery uh, change or anything so please go to and check if you, you are not the person who changed that I mean if suspicious activity you must check about that but in this video my target is to make your account security 100% yeah so make your account 100% you must need add two step verification so two step verification is of your uh, of your account right now so just you need to go and uh, uh, turn on two step verification uh, for before I like to remember you please check out this video and uh, check how to make a random uh, however the strong password the password is uh, don't we need to ke keep in our mind 2025 because of uh, just we can use our phone uh, to log uh, accept or reject accept or reject also you can use tap uh, the numbers like this option we have I will show you pass key options everything but uh, in my suggestion you can if you can use like this and make uh, more than like however 
it's you can use like 32 characters it's enough you however you can go to uh, more than 50 that's okay uh, in google i think uh, we can we must need eight minimum uh, characters to 30 uh, 64 is the maximum character so however just uh, you can use like very strong password i my suggestion is use a random password generate however just uh, we talk about if you don't use your first name last name birthday name, everything so however just use your own way make a strong password use capital letters simple letters symbols and numbers okay so next uh, i i remember you uh, before you make your uh, account secure you must uh, change your password like that strong password okay so two-step verification uh, when we go inside there they will suggest first to add a phone number so for uh, add a phone number they will say prevent hackers from accessing your account with an additional layer of security the two-step verification so unless you are signed to uh, in your passkey you will ask to complete the most secure second step is this that's called second step verification so turn on second step verification you have second step verifications here just you can use a phone number this is very good option just you get a <coughs> otp code i think otp one time passcode uh, that uh, that uh, however the six or four digit codes in 2025 you will never uh, know about that because of it's very famous in bank applications google account uh, google or you know any if you make any social media account or anyway we will get uh, four or six numbers code <coughs> sorry so we can use the phone number it's easy way so just click on there add button uh, my suggestion is if you don't add if you didn't add a recovery email you must add a phone number because of uh, if locked uh, other chances for example your authenticator you lock uh, lost i will say what is authenticator if you lost the authenticator just uh, only you have to way access your account if you add your phone number because authentication uh, for example think if you if you lost your phone uh, you can't find it so just okay but you can go to your network uh, provider and buy your sim card i mean replace your sim card then just you can take otp and uh, take your account that's it uh, if your phone is stolen so that's it you just you can uh, call your bank applications and everything you can look out that's it however just you can uh, go to your network carrier i mean uh, your isp uh, sim card uh, take replace the sim card and just you can uh, change your password and everything and uh, reset your old phone so that option i will uh, talk in next video how to uh, protect your data from uh, stolen or you know lost phone okay so however google prompt authenticator and passkey option we have to here so just you can add a phone number just uh, you can select your country uh, as uh, you know add like this just usa you know that so this is sri lanka you know that so however country code then add uh, your phone number then uh, they will send a google uh, you know they will send uh, otp then uh, the six number digits here digits your phone as sms just uh, next step you have to uh, enter your enter your code for example i will show you uh, this is not my number i will uh, enter as this uh not uh, seven seven uh just as uh, we need to write uh, enter our number at the uh, correct confirm this is your phone number uh, just we can save that but uh, i need to show you that add your phone number just i will remove this one that's it uh, <laughs> don't add your uh, don't uh, mistakenly add another numbers must you uh, need to add your number so just uh, i will delete this because of this is not my number you can uh, <coughs> add a number and uh, they will they next time they you can confirm it uh, take uh, secure uh, you know the otp code and next uh, you can turn on the step two verification by the phone number so you can uh, make a backup codes like this get backup codes after you uh, set backup codes you can uh, take those backup codes so i will uh, change them later so just uh, i will take 
those codes uh, you can see that it's okay this is test account <laughs> i will uh, remove that uh, you can just print code uh, my suggestion is don't download uh, codes it's like a text file so don't save it like that you can do just print code and keep it but this is very old method i don't suggest to do that but uh, you can add alls and keep your account more secure if you add backup codes that said so the authenticator option is you know we have the qr scan and uh, we have the phone number we already need to uh, recovery options we just need uh, contact our phone i means google will send authentic uh, google will uh, try to confirm that you so they will uh, send a otp code uh, for your mobile but in this way uh, the authentication in is same way the code is not say uh, net your phone number that's on the authentication app so this will i will uh, talk about more about the authenticator in next video because of the videos will go long so the most op op uh, thing you just need add a phone number here so the google prompt is uh, just you can add it because however it's not work uh, at the old time i mean old time if you lost your phone so you don't have your phone so that's not uh, enough at that time but uh, if you have your phone uh, if you log uh, on your laptop or uh, for for the temporary uh, temporary work on your office or however another place for a tem uh, temporary just you can uh, make your phone and tap yes or no prompt and continue uh, account uh, without uh, however this is two step verification so without may maybe if you are in same network your home your laptop maybe they don't ask your password so after enter your password they will ask uh, confirm uh, you are this dining so just uh, confirm like this message if you enable the google prompt so the pass kit and security case, this is uh, not uh, work with everywhere because uh, we need just uh, you know maybe you need uh, if you have fingerprint phone so just uh, that uh, you can confirm you are you can uh, keep your fingerprint or face id or anything so also uh, just you can you have uh, external device you can use a usb drive as a pass key just you can plug it your that uh, other your devices like uh, if you need to sign in same uh, thing if you need to sign in your office uh, pc your laptop just you can enter your password everything and two-step verification this is not your password just ex uh, extra security layer so just to uh, plug in your uh, your usb drive and you can confirm this is you so this is uh, really good but uh, everywhere this is not practical so i i my suggestion is use a phone number and use a google prompt <coughs> sorry so two-step verification is the most important thing so you just need to turn on i had turned on but uh, i didn't uh, set ready for that because of i had enter uh, as a test because you know this is test video yeah uh, after that you can uh, check this is on so last password is change so my suggestion is please change your password at least uh, maybe really once per month change that so skip password when possible that is the way if you are on the same network then uh, you can you if you have your phone just you have your laptop just you type your account details and everything just password is okay but they will uh, confirm you so just uh, they will prompt a message on your phone just you can tap yes and g use your fingerprint then you can continue without any problem so yeah <coughs> but uh, that is uh, when possible that is so important thing so don't worry about uh, that is not uh, if anyone have your phone you can but they will ask a prompt you need to unlock your phone so google uh, must they will say if you set two step verification as your phone google prompt the google prompt will appear only you had uh, made a uh, screen lock your phone okay so then don't worry so if others know you uh, screen lock so that's very very risky so i said you your privacy is your own way so please protect it <laughs> yeah so recovery phone uh, two-step verification we had uh, if we had already had the phone number so you can uh, add on there same number or another number that doesn't matter so just you need to uh, type your password so i just take <laughs> my that password here and then just continue so i'm so sorry for that uh, this is not my password i use that that's okay but uh, we are in same uh, same uh, network 
so just I'm going to again change my password. I'm so sorry for that. So personal information at the uh, end of the personal information, you can change your password also in here. You can change your password. Doesn't matter. We are in the same same. Uh, wait for that. Uh, same same network. So that doesn't matter. I think uh, we had <laughs> changed uh, the length and we I, sh I had show you the strong password that time uh, we missed our password so that's it it's okay so I changed my password that's it we changed so I will uh, go with head with my right new password here so you can uh, add your recovery phone so for a text they will say you your recovery phone is used for reach uh, a your in a case we detect unusual activity to protect your account however if you lost your phone or your phone is stolen just this is the way you can replace your sim card and just access your account here yeah so this is the most important thing in you need to active in the security tab so just here you can see which devices you had already signed it so the manage device you can sign out uh, log out and reset your phone when when you can't reach your phone like uh, if your phone lost or stole or anyway so you can see that so this option we need to talk about in another video so however in this video i had i need to talk about you the most uh, important thing about the security on the google account so yeah so first i like to say please uh, if you missed uh, those videos please check about that how to make google account for 2025 and uh, all about home personal information data privacy and everything informatively like this in this video yeah so if you like this video please make a like and comment down your idea also if you like to watch more like those videos please subscribe mr crazy school youtube channel so always i like to say you learn in crazy way so be crazy